Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my January favourites for you guys and I was actually filming a makeup tutorial on this look and then I thought okay I have my makeup on, let me just film a favourites video for this month. I don't really have a lot because I, I did buy a few things that I will mention that I've been loving because I got them and I've been obsessed with them. Um, let's just jump straight onto it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is foundation and I've been loving these two foundations. I recently got them and did a foundation review that you guys loved and I am obsessed with these. I bought, I originally did the video on the shade 320 which was way too dark and all of you guys said it in my comments and I was just like oh my god it was really dark. I then got, one of you suggested 315, actually a lot of you suggested 315 for me and then I got it and when I mix the two it gives like the perfect shade for my, sh my skin tone. I haven't got it on today but I just love it like for school or if I just you know like it's just a good foundation to be honest it's i would say it has a dewy finish and it's it doesn't really dry me out and it really blends nicely on the skin and they're super affordable there's a good color range for a drugstore foundation i would say but if you want to check out my review on these i'll link the video in the info box so you can go watch that the next makeup item that i have been literally obsessed with since i got it is my ben night banana powder and i bought this off preciousaboutmakeup.com it's an online website i just paid for it on there and they have a bigger size as well but i just thought let me just go for the medium size and i just love it it just it just sets your it just makes your under eyes look so flawless so if you haven't tried this powder just try it out it's so good you can even buy little samples of it on ebay so you could do that as well if you don't want to buy a full size it is on the pricey side but i really think it's worth it it's so good and yeah i can't live without this anymore it's just so good i, I did have it at first and then i just didn't buy it and when I bought it I was just like oh my god why didn't I have this in my life seriously it's so good so the next thing that I want to talk about are two concealers and one is the NYX um, gotcha covered total coverage concealer and the other one is the LA girl pro concealer but this one is in the shade um, I don't even know where my pure beige went it's not even in my drawer but this one is in the shade Toffee. I usually used um, Pure Beige, but it was like, it's the perfect shade, but this one is more like my skin tone, and I just like to mix it in with lighter concealers just to make the shade a bit, a bit less lighter and make it fit to my skin tone. You guys know that I just love this concealer, but it's just the shade. I just really like it because I want to mix it with other concealers, and even when I want to go to school, I just pop this on and it's just really natural. Then I also like this one, it's just like the formula is really good. I would only say that it's kind of dewy like I said when I mentioned it before. It's a dewy finish so you want to set it in well and I just love the coverage of it. It's so amazing and the shade. The shade is like perfect. It's like the perfect shade that I want in a concealer. So yeah, it's I just love this and it's waterproof as well. So the next thing that I am going to talk about is a lip product and since I got this I cannot stop wearing it, literally. And um, I did wear this lip product in my um, Q&A video, my last Q&A video, and a lot of you guys were asking me what I was wearing and it was this. It's the Jara Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Iced Mocha and it's just so pretty. I have it on today. I, did, I do have a, a liner around it and under it but it's basically the shade but it's just so comfortable to wear and you guys know that I'm not really I'm, I'm obsessed with lip products but I don't really wear like to wear bold colors outside even though I would like to it's just that I get so um paranoid about it and I did say talk about this before but I just kind of worry about if it's on my on my teeth or some on my face and I just feel like sometimes I get like this thing on the edge of my lip and it's just it just looks horrible sometimes so that's why I kind of avoid wearing lip products sometimes apart from the ones that I'm really really comfortable wearing but this one is just so comfortable to wear it just it, it feels amazing on the lips and you barely know you can barely feel it's there it's just, and it doesn't dry it doesn't make that thing in the inner thing in my lips and I just say I, I just really love this it is around nine to eleven pounds I got it off Beauty Bay and I'm definitely gonna buy some more shades and I really hope they come out with more shades because it's just it's, the formula is amazing seriously it's like the best liquid lipstick I own so my next favorite that I want to talk about is a highlighter that I recently got and it's actually a big massive splurge like 
I kind of felt bad when I got the confirmation email that I ordered it. Like, you know when you just feel like, ugh. Like, I just felt really bad buying it. But then when I got it, I was just like, okay, I'm so happy that I have it. It's just so pretty, this highlighter. This highlighter is so amazing. And it's actually Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop done by like Jaclyn Hill like in co collaboration and it's just so pretty it's so pretty the packaging is so amazing it's super sturdy it literally feels like amazing quality and that's what the powder looks like it's so pretty and it's so pigmented like this is just one swatch like it's just so amazing oh my god I'm like obsessed it's like the most amazing glow you can get like seriously if you haven't tried this definitely get one i'm so so happy that i finally got this next i want to talk about some brushes that i recently got but since i got them i can't stop using them and this is what they look like i did post them on instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram make sure to follow me i'll leave a link in the info box but um these are just so amazing so um i i also did post the real techniques one. Oh, there's a brush missing the three real techniques one was in a box that i got from boots and it was on clearance from 65 pounds to 25 pounds and i did post it on my snapchat when i got it and so make sure to follow me on snapchat as well but um since i got it i just can't use stop using them the quality is so amazing like sam and nick did an amazing job on these brushes because not only are the normal real technique brushes are amazing but these one are just some whole other level like it's just so good um this one i'm obsessed with at first I thought, okay, I'm, I don't really wear powder, I'm not going to really use this, but it's so good to, like, blend, blend your bronzer. It's so amazing. It literally feels so soft, and it just blends the product in so nicely. I then like to use this one. This is the 300 brush, and I just like to um, set my under eye concealer with this with my Ben Nye Banana Powder, and then the brush, I'm just, I just use it for everything. It's just like a flat tapered fluffy brush and this is number 200 so I thought that was a bargain from 65 to 20, 25 so yeah picked these up and I've just been loving them so much the next two brushes I got off Beauty Bay and this one is the Morphe M509 brush and I just use it for my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter and it's just so good to apply your highlighter like precisely on your cheekbone and on your nose and on your forehead like I'm, I just go crazy with this brush um, I believe I got this for around £7 I think but I'll link everything in the info box as always and then this one is a Zoeva brush this was a bit more on the pricey side I think around £12 I think and this is the 126 Lux cheek finish brush to be honest I thought it would be a much much bigger brush so I can bring my bronzer in but it's super small so I just I just blend it here to get like that really like contoured look but that's all I use it for and I have been loving these brushes lately and I'm obsessed so the last makeup item that I want to talk to you guys about is also something I got recently Ooh. and it's the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer I got the shade dark brown so this brow product is so amazing I have been obsessed with it since I got it I don't know how many times I've said obsessed in this video I'm really sorry about that but it's true like I just love this I'm so happy that I got it and I think I even think it's better than the brow wears like I just think it does your brows so so nicely and when I'm gonna film my brow routine video I'm gonna use this and also my NYX brow pomade but it's just so good it is on the pricey side around 16 pounds but I just think it's so worth it. But I am I am quite upset because I got like a broken one. The other day I opened it and I couldn't see the product inside and I was like what the hell. I even asked my brother did he play with my makeup. I got so pissed off that it was actually in the lid and it, my thing broke. So I just put it back in but it, I'm able to use it still but it sucks. I got like a dodgy one. I don't know but I, I know I didn't break it. I'm quite gentle with my things I think. I don't know. But yeah, I definitely love this. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out because it's amazing. So those were my favourites for this month makeup wise. Um, but now on to like the random things. Um, I want to talk about this perfume that I have also been obsessed with. It's um, the Giorgio Armani C perfume. This is a sample that I, that I got. I haven't got the full size but I just keep this in my bag and I just spray it once and it's just, it's just enough to last all day long and it's so sweet and it's just a lovely smell. I just love this perfume. 
I think there's something like vanilla absolute in there and like black currant or something like that and it's just an amazing scent it's so like sweet and I just love sweet scents so um, yeah I've been loving this as well lately the next thing that I have been using a lot this month is the Effeclar duo by La Roche Posay and I'm actually gonna buy some more of their skincare products because I really think this has been helping my skin a lot like spots wise I think this really helps to clean up your spots like I have one forming right here I don't think you can, you can tell but I've been putting this on my face and I feel like oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like preventing it to come out fully. And I just feel like it's been helping my little spots all over my face. And it's just making, it's just helping to clear up my complexion, well, my skin. And I really love this. It's not as hydrating as I would like it to be, but I think it's done a great job at, at clearing up my skin. So I'm going to be buying some more like moisturising moisturisers from them because I think they're a great brand and I think their products are really like high-end and like good quality so I really want to try it out I will hopefully have a skincare video updated skincare video up soon um, I just want to buy more skincare products and try out more things to see if my skin will change a bit because I feel like lately my skin hasn't been its best so yeah so yeah I've been loving this it is around 15 pounds but I definitely think it's worth it and if you have like spots and stuff or like pigmentation definitely try this out because it helps with um marks and stuff so yeah I feel like it's helping to clear out this area of my skin as well a bit so yeah so the next product is this Mario Badescu rose water spray facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water that's what it says in the bottle but um, I just say rose water spray and um, this was super affordable surprisingly I did see it on Kylie Jenner's um, app when her makeup artist I think Mario was using this on her and um, I just want to go go and get it because it was on Beauty Bay and this was like five pounds, which is not bad at all in my opinion. I think that's five pounds or ten pounds, something like that. I just think this was affordable and I just really love it to set my makeup in. It gives like a dewy finish and even like when I come out of the shower, I just spray this over, over my face and it just feels so refreshing. I just love like these sprays kind of thing, but yeah, I've just been loving this lately. So those were my favourites for this month, and here's my little bubby bunny bear. Oh, look at him. Light's too bright for him. Like I said, there wasn't really much, but um, I hope you guys like these type of videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>